Hi, I'm Angela Valamanesh and I'm a practicing visual artist uh, living and working in Adelaide, South Australia. This Jam Factory Icon exhibition showcases um, roughly 20 odd years out of my 35 year long practice. I went to art school in the mid 1970s and spent three or four years learning to make bowls and teapots. And then I practiced as a potter for maybe 10 years or so after that. I started to make functional looking works that didn't really function anymore. I mean, basically they, there was no glaze on the work, so I was still making bowls and things, but I kind of started to, or, or needed, felt the need to think a little bit more seriously about what the content of the work would be. And that sort of led me on to looking at what sort of ideas I wanted to express in my work. I was lucky enough to receive a Samstag scholarship, which meant I could work in uh, Glasgow School of Art for a year. And I started working on a piece that is in this exhibition. For a long while, there were only plants. And the drawings are based on a textbook. It's actually a medical textbook that I found in the Glasgow School of Art Library. and. I started watercolours and pen and ink on paper and the work just sort of grew in the studio as an accumulation of images that I was looking at. A lot of the research that I've done is actually online so I know where these publications are. I, you know, one of the most amazing collections is actually the Bar Smith Library in University of Adelaide. Uh, and so I was lucky enough to do a short artist in residency there more recently in the last couple of years. I think I mentioned that I was interested in orchids uh, and the librarians there know their collection so well that they were wise enough to bring me the Rosa Five Ash folios that they have in their collection. Rosa Five Ash was a, an Adelaide based uh, illustrator from the late 1800s to maybe mid 1900s and she illustrated all the orchids, well as many of the orchids that we know of in the Adelaide Hills region. For me to be able to visit the library and look at these amazing illustrations and then come straight back to my studio and make work was pretty unique. So the botanical or scientific illustrations that I look at are really a springing board. They're a starting point for um, something that comes afterwards. Inspiration comes from the interconnectedness of all life and particularly from inspired by looking at drawings of early illustration that are the most beautiful illustrations that you can come across but clearly um, articulate how we are connected to life on, on Earth and to all life around us.